Five signs of a toxic partner. Hi guys, today we are talking about how to recognize that you are in a toxic relationship or are dating or even married to a toxic person. I will share with you the five most important signs and if you recognize even one of the signs in your relationship, then it's time to talk to your therapist about creating healthy boundaries and take actions accordingly. Let's start. If you don't know me, my name is Elena Semenek. I'm a psychologist and a life coach. I offer online private sessions and I'm a creator of multiple healing courses. This is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome. Every week I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, anxieties, limiting beliefs and all other essential topics that will guide you to manifest all your dreams and to have a fulfilling life. So start watching my videos one by one. I have 500 plus of them on my channel and I guarantee that sooner than you expect, you will become a happier, healthier and more successful person. So subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to turn on the notification so you won't miss my next important video. And now let's talk about the five most important signs of a toxic partner. The first sign of a toxic partner is the person does not respect your time. If your partner nine out of 10 times shows that he has no regards for your time, this is a red flag. Here is an example from my own life. When I came to the United States, I was attending classes to learn English. I didn't have a car and my boyfriend at that time promised me that he would pick me up after school. My classes always ended the same time, but nine out of 10 times he was late. He never admitted that he was late. When I would ask him why he was 40 minutes late, he would say, really? 40 minutes? I came right after you called me. Maybe I'm 5 minutes late, but not 40. Come on. One day I had to call him 4 times. Each time he told me that he was about to leave the house, which was approximately 10 minutes away. That day I ended up waiting for him for 2 hours. Another example of this sign would be a situation when a partner promises to do something on a specific day, but then he forgets about it. Or some other things come up and now you have to wait and wait and wait. Or you have to remind him about his promise again, again and again. At the end, you feel that your needs are unimportant and ignored. If this sounds familiar to you, then I highly recommend watching my video Self-Worth in Relationships. This video will help you to understand the true reasons why you allow others to treat yourself disrespectfully. When I realized that the problem was not my boyfriend, but me allowing him to treat me that way, it made a huge shift in my life. So once you finish watching this video, please watch the video Self-Worth in Relationships. I have been in this situation. It's a trap and I'm here right now to help you to find an exit and be happy in your life. Before talking about the second sign of a toxic partner, I would like to give you a gift. I would like to share with you, free of cost, five self-development webinars five guided meditations, and five healing exercises. Click the link below the video or visit elenasemenek.com slash free. Actually, stop the video right now. Grab your free self-development tools so you won't forget to do it later. Do it right now. The second sign of a toxic partner is the person suddenly changes your plans. A real example from my private practice. A client of mine, a woman, started dating a guy. They made a plan 
to have dinner together on Thursday night. He called her the day before, saying that the next morning he would be flying to another city and was wondering if she wanted to meet him later that evening. He did not explain why he was flying the next morning and he sounded absolutely fine. It was not an emergency or anything like that. He was actually pretty polite about offering to meet later that evening. By the way, I have another video which is called Five Relationship Red Flags. This video will be extremely helpful for people who are just starting dating or in the beginning stage of a relationship. The link is below the video. So, getting back to the example of a guy who decided to change the dinner plan the night before. Uh, at first, my client was confused. She did not know what to say. She did not know how to react. Out of the blue, her new boyfriend was flying to another city. He did not sound concerned or worried. He presented the information like it was not a big deal. So, after discussing this situation with me, my client came to the conclusion that the whole situation did not make sense. And her partner did not provide any explanation later, which brings me to the third important sign of a toxic partner, which is feelings of confusion. If you are dating or married to a toxic person, you can catch yourself feeling confused most of the time. You might doubt yourself thinking that maybe you misunderstood him. You try to make sense of the situation and come up with reasonable excuses for your partner. But the longer you are in the relationship, the more confused you feel. Let me give you another example. You and your partner plan to order a pizza for dinner, but your partner comes home with the Chinese food. You say, uh, I thought we were ordering pizza. He replies, there is a new Chinese place that opened next to my office and everyone says that they are good. I was expecting you to be excited and now I feel criticized. At least you could have asked why I brought the Chinese food and appreciate my effort. If this example does not apply to you, you might say that it's obvious that uh, the person is gaslighting you. But if you imagine yourself in the situation with a partner that you really care about, then there is a big chance that you would feel confused and start doubting yourself. You might say, maybe he was right. I did not ask him uh, why he decided to buy Chinese food. He did not want to make me feel bad. It was the opposite. Maybe um, he was trying to give me a nice surprise and I did not appreciate him. The key element here is how often you feel confused. If something like that happens once in a blue moon, then maybe you are overreacting. But if you feel misunderstood and confused often, then this is a red flag. You are with a toxic person who is destroying your self-confidence and self-worth. Again, watch my video Self-Worth in Relationship and the link is below the video. Before I share the fourth sign of a toxic partner, let me introduce the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. One of the best ways to explain therapy is through analogies. We get our cars inspected to prevent bigger issues down the road. We work out and visit a doctor to prevent and heal from injury or diseases. We see the dentist to prevent cavities. Going to therapy is just like all of this. Therapy helps you to maintain and improve your mental and emotional wellness. It does not mean that something is wrong with you. It means that you are investing in yourself to keep your mind healthy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat session so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. You just fill out the questionnaire and you get matched with the therapist within 48 hours. 
you can schedule a secure video or phone session, plus you can send unlimited messages to your therapist. And of course, everything you share is completely confidential. Even as therapist myself, I have my own therapist. As a dentist goes to another dentist, as a therapist, I go to my therapist to maintain my mental health. So for all my viewers, I have a special link to get 10% off your first month, go to betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. It's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash psychology of happiness. Let's get back to our topic. The five signs of a toxic person. So far, we discussed three signs. The fourth sign of a toxic person is they are jealous and controlling. If your partner is too jealous, this is not a sign of him loving you too much. This is actually a red flag indicating that you are with a toxic person. A toxic person usually put it in a way that seems like somehow this is your fault. You were too nice to the other guy at the party. You were too flirty. You smiled too much. Or you dressed too sexy. Again, you feel confused. On one hand, you might feel that your partner really loves you. At the beginning, you might be pleased with their jealousy, but in time, you will feel that your partner is controlling your every move. You have to be very careful about how you interact with others, or make sure that you don't smile too much. You have to be very careful that you talk only about necessary things, because your friendly chat with a coach at your daughter's practice might look like you're flirting. Another sign of a controlling partner is when you receive numerous texts and calls during the day. Your partner wants to know where you are, what you are doing, who are you with, or just share some thoughts that came to their mind. And if you are not answering right away, they get upset or even angry and suspicious. And finally, the fifth sign of a toxic person is they isolate you from your friends and family. Because a toxic partner has a desire to control you, they cannot allow you to have close relationships with your friends and family. In the initial stages of a relationship, you might find it sweet that someone wants to spend so much time with you. But over time, you notice that your partner is getting more and more critical about your friends and your family members. He does not support the idea of you spending time with them as much as you want. Your partner might comment on the amount of time you spend on the phone with your mom or your sister. They might criticize your best friend for calling too often, saying that they should spend more time with their partner and not waste your time with useless gossip. They would say that you should be more selective with the people that you hang out with. At some point, you might feel isolated and lonely. No matter how hard you try, you cannot create an emotional connection with your partner. If you recognize any of these signs in your relationship, then it's time to work on setting healthy boundaries. If you like my approach, if this video was helpful, then I will be happy to be a personal therapist. I offer private online sessions and online healing courses. And I'm the founder of the Happiness Club, where members have unlimited access to my entire healing database of guided meditations, breathing exercises, journaling techniques, art therapy, and much more. All the links are in the video description. Now go and watch some of my other videos. I recommend that you watch the following. 1. Self-worth in relationship. 2. Number 2. 5 relationship red flags. The third video that I recommend is 7 biggest relationship mistakes to avoid. And the last one, but not least, 5 signs that your relationship will last long. Start watching my videos one by one. I have 500 plus of them on my channel. 
and I guarantee that sooner than you expect, you will become a happier, healthier, and more successful person. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and share it on your social media. I would really appreciate it. Now go and watch my other four videos that I mentioned. All the links are in the description. Subscribe and I will see you in my next important video. Bye!